Chad, are we still gonna be friends if, <laughs> if I give your quilt a bad review? Oh, no. No, no. No, that's not how this <laughs> right. works. Okay. Well, it's been a while since we've reviewed any gear, actually. Yeah. Um, and it was time It was time to do this. So today, we are going to go through pros, cons, everything we think about the underground quilts. Bandit top quilt. We got a, we got a 40 degree and a zero degree. Yeah, so Andy and I own four of these. So I might tell you what we think about them. Yeah. Uh, and how this kind of started was um, in January of this year, Old Dan Becker wanted to go winter backpacking up in Wisconsin, and we we're like, "Well, we need some beefier quilts." For yeah, that. We, we need better stuff. So, uh, underground quilts to us has kind of been the gold standard in beefy, warm quilts. So we reached out to them. Uh, we we picked up two zero degree bandit top quilts, and we liked the the zero degrees so much that when summer rolled around, uh, we're like some 40s we need some summer quilts so we uh -huh. got some 40 degree banded quilts so we've been using these quilts um, in Look. some temperature rating yeah. uh, since February of this year uh, we've, we've taken them to a bunch of different places we've used the 40 degrees so let's let's talk about them there there's too many different degrees of customization yeah. to go into on a video um, you can customize the crap out of these quilts um, some things I will say is if you're if you're someone that's getting a winter quilt I can't recommend getting a sewn foot box yeah, enough. Don't, even, don't even deal with the heat loss and consider overstuffing the foot box um, we, I did not do that because I wear down booties but if I didn't have down booties I would have both I would have overstuffed the foot box another thing that I wish I would have done, and I might send it back to them to have them do this, is in the winter, if you're sleeping on the ground, you might want to get pad straps. <laughs> I don't uh, have to deal with that crap. In a hammock, you don't have to deal with that, uh, but that's something for the zero degree, I wish I would have gotten. I don't, I just, I never thought to, because I've never had a top quilt that had, or I never had a top quilt where I used pad straps. Yeah. But when it's 10 degrees outside and you roll over and you know part of your side comes exposed, you will feel that. Yeah. Um, so a couple nuances, um, and then he has a, they have a, a control system that runs on the perimeter of the bandit. I'll show you right now. Um, consider getting that if you want something more cinched underneath you. I think that's a pretty cool option. It's a cool option. And I think you'll see the advantage more when if you're if you're sleeping on the ground on a sleeping. Yes. Ground. Um, so that's a cool thing and uh, you know one of the big pros about these quilts is I will say I believe UGQ offers the highest degree of customization for a top quilt. Like what's the most popular customization options people get with the Bandit? It's surprising because in, in the last like six years uh, everybody wanted full taper quilts because they were trying to shave weight and they didn't want oh. you know all this extra material and whatever um, but we've seen a pretty radical twist in the last probably two years where everyone's pretty much wanting no taper they're wanting the draft collar they're wanting the dynamic tension control um, most people still opt for the zipper foot box which to me um, is surprising because I've been using quilts for almost a decade and I've never ever unzipped a quilt really? and used it like a blanket I've just never done it so I've done it. Um, but I know I know there's people that do and like a lot of people use them at home and whatever else but I got kids and dogs and I would never dare pull a quilt out at home um, but yeah I mean probably so like if you look at our stock program our whole stock program is built on what we see is like the most um, sought after build yeah. for a quilt so that's kind of how we tailored our stock program which we don't have any stock because we've got so many orders we can't keep up with anything so let's say i'm designing a bandit quilt from the ground up what what would you recommend like if i'm just like give me a quilt give me a quilt what 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 would be your idea well i would one? ask basic questions like what's your height what's your weight um you know what type of sleeper are you and really that question is hard to answer because it's so subjective based on the individual person um but typically i ask like a series of strategic questions um that would lead to what would be most recommended for you as a person. Because some people are hot sleepers, some people are cold sleepers, you know, some people sleep on their back, you know, coffin style, mm -hmm. some people toss and turn all night. Um, so all of those play a factor when determining like what size, what temperating, you know, some, some people have uh, very thin blood, you know, and so they sleep a lot colder than other people. Um, that's, that's her. She's thin blooded. Yeah, my wife. <laughs> she has to sleep in a zero degree when it's 78 degrees outside, Ooh. so it's it's embarrassing. In terms of customizations, so a couple of our recommendations, like we said, if you're getting a zero degree, get a sewn foot box, 
potentially overstuff it. Draft collars. Uh, also, they uh, they offer draft collars right here. Um, I actually love these on, on an underquilt. I have a UGQ underquilt, and I wanted them on the top quilt, and they make a lot of difference. You know, when you're at, at, at night, in the, when it's 10 degrees outside, and you have that thing up there, it's nice to have some additional coverage so you don't get like drafts going in there. Yeah, so pros. And this is something you can watch our BSings with Chad, who is one of the, uh, one of the owners of Underground Quilts, is that they are after comfort comfortability yeah, ratings. Yeah, this is a huge pro. They're after comfortability ratings, not survivability ratings. And we have noticed this. So their quilts, in my opinion, are warmer based on like other industry standards that might occur. And there's always like a big debate in the in the market of like, is it comfortability or is it survivability? So when comfortability weighs more. Yeah, comfortability weighs more because there's more down in it. So hands down, like if you are buying a zero degree quilt, like you are going to be comfortable into some really cold temps. <laughs> yeah, so we have used hammock gear quilts and light equipment quilts, UGQ quilts. And Costco quilts. And Costco quilts. <laughs> and by far the ones that are the most comfortable at their respective ratings are the UGQ quilts because they overstuff them. Um, we didn't know that. They might add a little bit of a weight, but yeah. when UGQ says, this is a zero degree quilt, you'll be comfortable at zero degrees in it, it will be comfortable at zero degrees. Versus some other manufacturers, you can survive, you might be able to sleep at zero degrees, but they build these for comfort, and that is probably one of the biggest pros and the biggest things that separates UGQ from the other vendors. Yep. Second pro, I already talked about it, uh, highest degree of customization. I'm not gonna go into it anymore, but I, I do believe, and I was looking on um, some other vendors' websites before this video, I'm pretty sure UGQ offers the highest degree of customization. You know, that might not be a pro for everybody. For us, it definitely is, because you get a lot of options, and they're really good about talking to you about, okay, do you want this, do you want this, yeah. based on that. They're really good about that with us. Um, so that is a huge pro. So something I've noticed um, with the 40 degree, uh, and I don't, you know, this, I haven't like scientifically tested this out, but it seems to me that these quilts, I'd be curious what you think, they're very compressible. Have you noticed that? I've noticed my UGQ, my UGQ quilts compress a little bit easier than some of the other quilts I have. I don't know if that's a one-time thing, um, cause I've packed them up so many times now. Well, but I have noticed that I don't know if it's a quality of down thing. I don't know if it's the nylon shell layer thing. But I have noticed that these compress a little bit easier and pop back out a little bit easier than some of the quilts I have. It's probably because it's brand new and it's high quality down. I, I think it's because it's a, it's the down quality thing. Um, but I've compressed these things a bunch and they just seem to like really pack down. And it doesn't matter for a lot of people, but I, I do think that's like a... Nobody talks about the compressibility of backpacking items, especially down. And I think that's a, that's a pro for them. They win in that. And if you get a zero degree quilt, and you attempt to use it in anything over like 40 or 50 degrees, yeah, good luck. you will die. Anything over, <laughs> anything over like you, 30 degrees. You will die. <laughs> you, will, you, will, you will get heat stroke. You will die of dehydration. It's, uh, it's 50 degrees outside. Andy's putting the zero degree on right now. We're getting this B-roll for you all. Andy's gonna die. He's one of those NASCAR D like, uh, like cooling vests. So something that, some pro, it's, this is kind of a pro, um, well it's certainly a pro for me, but owning a 40 de degree quilt from UGQ has changed potentially my mindset of like what the perfect temp quilts are that you want to have. And just going deep. The, right now I'm of the opinion, and you know I need to do a little bit more experimenting, but I'm almost to the opinion that this 40 degree bandit is going to be like perfect for shoulder seasons too. Yes, yes, and that goes with the overstuffed, yes. So we used these 40 degrees last weekend down in Cranberry. It got down to the mid to low 40s and these quilts were warm. Yeah, and so they're coming in at 16 ounces, so a, a pound for a quilt that'll get that you can use during, I mean, you're gonna be warm in the summer in this, in a 40, yeah. we, we got these because we're like, oh, let's get like a minimalistic, lightweight summer summer quilt for the summer. Yeah, I don't know summer. if you could use it in the summer, you yeah. might die. <laughs> yeah. You might die. But what's crazy is, so 16 ounces for a quilt that will give us spring, summer, and fall. Yeah, uh, and 
I compressed the 40 degree in a compression sack just to see, and I literally, it's just, it's a softball, if not smaller. Um, so that that is pretty cool. Um, just a good a good testament to the down that's in there. Yeah. So I think I think that's pretty amazing how light is. It? So 16 ounces for for a quilt that will get you spring, summer, and fall. Yeah. That's that's pretty awesome. Uh, last pro, and this is, I don't want to go super into this because everybody kind of knows our stance on cottage vendors, but in terms of like a company to support, you can't get better than UGQ. No, um, no. Any fantastic the, customer yeah. service. Uh, we know them personally, like they they mean well, they stand by their products. Um, if something is wrong with what you get from them, they will fix it. Uh, so I don't, I mean, I don't want to go too into it, but from a company, that to spend your money on, UGQ is a great company to support. Absolutely. And that's a good pro. Yep. All right, so some cons. All right, honestly. I don't have any cons. One, and I actually checked and it's gotten better. I believe a month or two ago, I'm sure Chad will correct me, there was a lead time of 10 to 12 weeks on these quilts. That is long. That's not a con about the quilt at all. Okay, but, so you're talking about a con on lead time? Yeah. yeah it's a long wait. Three months. And it's gonna get, now I, I checked, true story, I checked to their website, their lead time as the time we shot this video is eight weeks. So that's more reasonable in terms of so if you cottage want, vendors. If you wanna, but if you wanna backpack next year with these quilts, you better, you better order one because Black Friday's coming and that lead time's gonna go up. If you want a winter quilt, if you wanna do any camping with a UGQ quilt in 2020, you better order it right now. Uh, not an actual con. Uh, other cottage vendors have similar lead times, yeah. but, uh, I mean, it, it, when I saw, I, I think it was 10 to 12 weeks ago. I mean, that's a long time to wait for a quilt. This is America. We buy it. We want it now. That's not, it's not a real con. And, and UGQ is expanding. So yeah, they are. When you guys are into this new space, what kind of effect will that have on production? Well, our, our initial goal is to double production almost immediately. Um, basically going from 25 to close to 50 quilts a day. Um, but we also, like right now, we're not even offering custom tarps because we have so many quilt orders. Oh, really? Uh, and just not enough. We didn't have enough space or sewers to be able to do any more. So we were totally maxed out. So here, we'll be able to offer our full lineup of products again, double the amount that we're doing, as well as introduce a lot of new products. Um, and just gives us more room for uh, streamlining a lot of our processes through laser cutters or industrial blowers. Hang but yeah, eventually this is all gonna get insulated and finished to match that. And the nice thing is, is that we can take this whole opening and make it bigger connected to that shop. Oh, right. So we can open this up like 20 feet and open that other bay up 20 feet. So it's one massive shop floor. What'd you think? Pretty cool. Yeah. See how the sausage is made. See how the sausage is made. <laughs> Another con, and this is not specific to UGQ at all. Um, these are not cheap. Uh, you know, a, a mid of the middle line UGQ quill is going to be 250 bucks, 200, 250 bucks. That's industry. It's standard. industry standard. It, it's not. It's not specific to UGQ, and part of the reason it it's not cheap is because it's made here in the USA. They're handmade. It's high quality down, um, but it, it is an investment. Yeah. Um, and you should view it that way. You know, we view all our quilts and our gear in general as an investment. You know, we don't have cheap gear, but we take care of it and it lasts forever. Um, so really, that's, we try, we're like, we gotta think of something we don't like about these quilts, like actually about them, but there's nothing we don't like about them. No. They're, they're fantastic. And I'm a, I'm a cold sleeper, so I appreciate he a is. little bit warmer of a setup. So I'm super happy. Like, it's crazy for me to think that I, that I will most likely use a 40 degree quilt for like 90% of our backpacking trip. Yeah. So that is it. We love these quilts. If you're looking at top quilts, a cottage vendor top quilt, there really aren't a ton of options on the market. Yeah, there's like four or five options out there. Um, um, and this is, I mean, to tell you guys, I mean, this is the only top quilt we've done in a review on. So that tells you how much we like it. If you're interested in getting one of these or anything from UGQ, they hooked us up with a promo code. I'll put it in the comments, Shill Bros 10. Um, we don't make any money if you guys buy something from them. Uh, we, they just, they're like, do you want a promo code? We're like, absolutely. So if you are gonna buy anything from UGQ, use that, you'll save 10%. Um, but that's it for any, any, any final comments about the bandits? No, I mean- Should I, we get a 20 degree? Chad. No, no. No. True story, I'm actually getting a 20 degree uh, bandit that I'm turning into a sleeping bag. Shh. 
All right, so that's it. Um, check out UGQ. We'll throw a link to them down in the description. And yeah, if you're interested in, in everybody, buying them, everybody knows UGQ. Uh, check them out, yeah. and we will see everybody on the next gear review. Are there any Are there any new products you can talk about? Um, I mean, I've I've literally got a list like this long of new products. It's just literally getting the space to be able to do it. Um, probably the next thing that we're launching is the dog sleep system. Okay. Um, once we break